Okay, we have a chronic bag of bits. And this is basically our recycled bits, our ends of the spools, and when we make the thread, we keep everything. We don't throw it away. And they're fantastic fun for all kinds of stuff. So let's talk about what can we do with them. Uh, actually, I was thinking this would be so great for people who do art quilting and people who do cloth paper scissors, people who do scrapbooking, but they don't have a stash like filters. You know, people who've been sewing for 30 years, they have all these spools and they want to use them up. They don't have all these spools. So this way, they, they get this bag and it has this big variety in and they can play with the different colors and all the different but there's different the weights in here. There's right? all different weights in here. It doesn't have to just be for hand stitching, though. It can really work well for people who are just learning to do machine couching. Right, okay? that's true. All the different machine couchings. Um, so I think it's a, I think it's a really great idea. I wish they had a bag of bits for fabric. Mm -hmm. So you could do the bag of bits for fabric. Right, right. And then have your bag of bits for all of your different threads. And I think for a shop owner, okay, this would be absolutely fun. wonderful because... Um, it would be something if you had a class, you could just give this out right. and say, here's your selection. You don't have to pick right. green, brown, whatever. Right, because there's ribbons in here, mm -hmm. there's braids, there's all different colors. So you could practice your couching, you could use it right. also for crazy quilting. Absolutely. Sometimes you just need a little bit. Doll makers. Doll makers. They need tiny bits for little doll clothes. That's true. So that would make great embellishments doll on doll hair. clothes. Doll fun. This is one bag of fun. Bag of fun. <laughs>